Hello guys, Mike Martin here. Can everybody hear me okay tonight? I can see we've got a few people on already. <laughs> you all right, Frank, Robert? Oh, I can pull the comments out. I'm getting used to this go to webinar now. It's really good. We've got Adrian on there. We've got Maury, Dave G, Jay Gree, sorry, pal, Stephen Keith. Right, you can all hear me. Cool. Um, I've gotten just in time tonight, so I'm not going to um, I'm not going to hold out for long and, and start um, talking rubbish. I'm going to share my screen first of all. Let me just figure out how I do that. Right, can everyone see my screen? Should be able to see some black and red writing. Yep, 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 awesome. Cool guys, nice one. Right, I can pull this other thing out of my way now. <clears throat> okay, okay, I've got the comment screen open so I can see what you guys are saying and I'm gonna push on with the presentation. I mean, basically this has come from Tonight's presentation has come from, we've been doing this now for a long time, MPP mainly, um, and a lot of our users have now been doing this for 12, 18 months, even longer. And what we decided to do a few weeks back on advice of Paul, the guy I work with who does, does all my SEO, uh, Paul, Paul Daniel Stone, he is on Facebook, um, to, to see what was working and what wasn't working. Um, for a lot of our best customers. So went through and I've contacted quite a lot of my top users. Now, if you're one of the guys who's doing five or 10 grand a month and I've not contacted you, it's not necessarily because you're not doing well, so don't take it as, a, as an insult. <laughs> the reason I've not contacted you is because I've, I've looked for guys that have got like 100 plus websites um, and a lot of them we don't really speak to that much, but they've all got the same <clears throat> structure. Uh, the same strategy and i've had a conversation with quite a few some of you might even be on tonight and when speaking to those people what i'm finding is nearly every single one of them has got an almost identical model that they work to a frame that they work to so i've put that frame together and i'm going to show it you tonight now this will work with mpp straight out of the box very very easy it's designed for it but it will also work with Mass Website Builder. I would probably have to do a training video to show you how to do it with Mass Website Builder, but with a lot of our users being quite new to that, I don't think it's worth going into that. It's just something that they need to at least see the structure of, okay? Does that sound okay with everyone? Nice one, Adrian, Stephen, Xavier, nice one, cool. Right, just checking. Okay, so I'm gonna push on the presentation, guys. I can't even see how many people are in the room. Um, <laughs> I've hit everything, so it doesn't matter, but we, we, we only got a couple of hundred people signed up for this, which it should only be about 100 of us. Uh, right, one skill you must master for guaranteed success with the mass website, well, mass page websites, okay? Um, First of all, the webinar is going to be, I've probably just gone through all this, will be no more than 90 minutes. I have to get out of here about half past seven my time tonight, so we've got about 90 minutes to go through, so I'm not going to keep you on for three hours and stuff like I sometimes do. So if you all want to put, yay. <laughs> yeah, it's just me and you, Robert. I can see in the questions that, right, it's a training webinar, so nothing's going to be sold at all tonight, okay? So anyone who thinks, oh, he's always selling, you can relax, okay? So it's just a training webinar and the method has been put together from hundreds of our users who are making decent money doing this, all right? So I've already said that. Almost everything that is in that is included in the PDF that you're gonna to receive tonight um, is essential for your builds to work perfectly, okay? Now, this, it, I've, I've basically took out all of the crap, so to speak, that you don't necessarily need because everybody has a different way of doing things and I've pulled in just the essentials and then obviously you can put things together. <laughs> Adrian's just put few because it's going to end within an hour and a half. Um, almost everything that I've kept is essential and it's something that's across the board for everybody how they've been doing it. Okay, at the end, I will give you my seven day success model PDF and I'm going to explain all the elements. So I'm going to go through all the elements of the PDF, tell you exactly how to use it. And anyone who's on live tonight is going to get a copy of the training course I'm going to really release for Mass Page. Uh, as soon as it comes out, I'll email it straight to you guys. Okay, what's happening? Oh, what will happen if you mask this? Okay, so you basically you're going to be able to build more websites much, much faster. Okay, when you do do them, they're going to be better quality. 
and they will rank much, much better. All right, you're going to find that you can work a heck of a lot less than you do now and than what you've done previously and that you will make more money, not generally more money in total because you might be making millions, but you're going to make more money for every hour that you work. So if you get this right, you're going to actually make more cash for every time you sit down at your computer and do something as long as you follow what I'm asking you to do. OK, now if you stick around for a while, I'm going to demo the skill for you and then I'm going to walk you through the PDF. And then I'm going to give everybody a copy of that PDF to take away and play around with. And obviously, if you've got any questions or anything, um, fine, hit me up on, on the Facebook group. Um, I was only giving the PDF out to the people who are on live. So the guys that have been asking me for it today, I've not given it to them. However, if you guys share it in the group, I'm not going <laughs> to complain about that. It's, it's, it will help people. They'd still have to probably watch the webinar to understand how it works and then get the training course. Also, um, OK, I've already told you about a training course, haven't I? You're going to get the training course and two bonus videos, which um, I'll also include inside the free. It's a five part training course that will take you through everything we do tonight, but in much, much more, more detail. So it's probably going to be five to seven hour in training. OK, why should you listen to me? I thought I'd ask this tonight, even though I know most people, basically. But we've got a lot of new users, a heck of a lot of new users over the last week or so. Um, so just so that those people know who, who have not been with me for a while, um, I've done MassPage for many, many years, started with my own business, created hundreds, thousands of MassPage websites, currently do over 100 grand a month from home, so I don't leave the house, and in lead generation, lead automation, and use, mainly using MassPage websites to generate those leads, and I now work less hours every single month, so every month I'm working less and less and less, and the income seems to be going up, which is great, <laughs> hope it carries on, um, and I've also, and this is the main reason, I've literally got access to hundreds of clients and I've researched my existing client user base and this is something that actually works for every single one of them. So basically when this first came about and we first looked at it, um, it they, they took it seriously, so to speak, whereas a lot of people kind of brushed over it as the next big fad, played around with it for a few weeks. These guys have took it to the next level and they're all, every single one of them, are earning really, really good money from using it. So if you do what I'm saying on here and you go through and you follow the process, you will make much, much better money um, than, than, than what most people are doing now because there's a structure to it. There's a, a way of following it. You've got a set thing to do each day. And by the time you get to the end, it's done. There's no more messing around. It's done. Move on to the next project and it will continue to earn you money for years and years and years after or depends what niche you're in. But, you know, right. I want people to close their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> feel stupid doing this but I want people to just close their eyes and think about this <clears throat> I want you to imagine are people going to close their eyes answer me in the comments you're going to close your eyes <laughs> I'm not even repeating what some of you guys are saying here <laughs> but he's got swear words in it some people have just put lol and oh h h h h <laughs> right, well, that's good. So that means anyone who's not commented must have their eyes closed. So that's great. <laughs> so you guys are knowing not playing. Right, basically, I just want you to imagine that you're sat and you're earning, right, 100 grand a month in sales. Coming into you, whether it's for sale of leads, whether it's for sale to, of jobs to people, however you, you, you generate that income on a monthly basis, okay? And it's all because you're following a specific, simple, easy blueprint, okay? So you've got a little blueprint there that you wake up on a Monday and think, right, I'll do two hours of this today. I'll do three hours on that tomorrow, four hours on that, five hours on that. And basically, by the end of a few months, you're doing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50K. But imagine you get to the point where you've got 100 grand a month, yeah? And it lets you work only a few hours a day. So two, three, four hours a day. Yep. And sorry, I'm just reading the comments as I'm thinking. A few people are coming in now. And it's not just an idea. Um, and this is what I wanted to get across to a few people. And this is why I want you to close your eyes when you're thinking about it. This is something where it's realistic. It actually happens that, that, that I'm doing it. There are other people in our group that are doing it. There's actually customers I've got that are earning more money every single month from my software doing it my way than I am. Because obviously I spend a lot more time doing what I'm doing. And obviously <laughs> they've got bigger teams around them or whatever it is. But there's actually guys who are earning more money from my product than me um, every single month. And, and, and it works. And it's working right now. So all I wanted to say, the reason I asked that is I want everybody to just 
realize that if you actually put the work in and follow the structure this will work you will actually make the money and it's that this is sounds more like a sales webinar than any webinar i've ever done and i'm not actually trying to sell anything tonight okay so best bits of this is no boss yes everybody loves not having a boss okay um you've got almost no over, no overheads at all no stress and there's no getting up early every single day so living this type of lifestyle and doing this with this type of business model is awesome okay you can drink seven nights a week and i did do recent rounds up until recently I've, I've had to completely stop the last four or five months other than barcelona where me and keith and the lads got drunk um no one's telling you what to do exactly the same thing no boss and no office politics that was the one thing that when i had a job where i worked i've worked all over i've worked in pallet yards i've worked for, for i've worked on farms i've worked at hsbc um i've been an account executive insurance brokers and every single one the office politics the bitching the moaning and all that crap used to drive me insane and you always had a boss there that's like oh well she's saying this because of this or he's saying this because and it's like they're just being fannies sorry to say that um that drove me insane so there's no more boss nobody telling you off nobody for, nobody tomorrow now is going to shout at me and say you can't say that word on a webinar <laughs> so it's awesome it's really really cool okay so what i'm going to ask you now is if i teach you this method today for free every single one of you i need you all to promise me something one thing and i'm going to want comments in the boxes saying you're going to do this okay this is going to benefit you not me <laughs> bitches and bitches some people are put on party every night right this is going to benefit you guys it's not going to benefit me at all this training is not going to benefit me at all i'm not trying to sell anything um does that sound fair enough can people say that they're going to make that promise before i even show you what it is i want to see a few yeses a few ones if even five of you can say yes to that then that's good yep yep promise right let me just get your names i'm gonna get out i've got your names anyway oh wow lord jesus putting yes I'll just say, so we've got Maury, Jerry, Adrian, John, Richard, Rick, Robert, Dav, uh, Steve, Simon, Jennifer, Keith. Wow, there's loads of you. I can't even go through it all. Sorry, guys. Valerie, uh, Brian Via. I always forget your name, mate, because you always put that on the webinars. Nick, Daryl, Dave, Adrian, George, Johnny. Wow, wow, wow. I'm, I'm not going to keep going, guys, because there's literally, there's, there must be quite a lot of people on, because <laughs> that keeps going. Right, okay, guys. The one thing I want to ask you to do and it's going to it's going to involve you working maybe eight to ten hours over the next ten, uh, seven to ten days have 10 finished websites in the next 14 days okay it's not difficult and we go through this model now it really isn't difficult and once you've created those websites i guarantee four to six weeks after creating them without doing any work at all when we follow this method you will have lots and lots of business coming into you okay within within three or four months of it without doing any on off page seo at all you're going to have a heck of a lot of business coming in from these websites if you just stick to the promise you've just told me and there's about 50 years just said that you're going to do it yep so you've all promised i've got a list of people who've promised on there and um probably you're all using fake names but um just just stick to it guys because if you can do this over the next 14 days I guarantee yeah, you're, you're on the first few rungs to actually making a proper decent success in whatever niche you choose with mass page. And it doesn't matter if you're doing MWB, it might be a little bit more difficult or whether you're using um, Magic Page plugin. You, you, th this works. It really, really works. Right. Brief demo coming up next. OK, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go through the method with everybody, uh, which is on the PDF. And then I'm going to just show you everything that you need to know, which is again on the PDF, which is going to go through. So exactly what we need to do, why it's so powerful and what makes it possible. OK, so this, this is the thing. And the reason I've kept it a secret up till now is probably a lot of people who've heard of it in the past would not turn up for the webinar if they, they thought it was something being rehashed. But what's happened is we've now seen the results of the people that did take it serious the very first time it was ever brought up. Sorry, I'm just um, having a drink. Right. So uh, and then and then I'll show you the end result of what it looks like. In fact, you know what? I'll start with the end result. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Figure out how to get off this page. Oh, I know it's down here somewhere. Right. I know. Um, end slideshow. OK, what can you guys see now? Oh, you can see still see the brief demo coming next right first i'm going to show you the end result of what you what you what you'll end up with when this works for you okay and basically it's it's awesome it's absolutely brilliant i'm using it most of our successful students are using it 
I, and I'm waffling and talking whilst I'm still trying to find the page I'm going to share with you. <laughs> right, let's have a look on here. Okay, um, got webinar. That should be the page. You should see a website screen in a minute. Can you guys see that auto electrician site? <clears throat> awesome, cool. Right, the reason I'm, I'm going to show you what you end up with in, in, as, as a final result, first of all, is because these are sites that I had created via rowing a long, long time ago. Um, and I made them a little bit better and they've, they've, they've run the course um, and there's a lot of sites. I've got hundreds of these things that have run the course and they need rehashing. And obviously I'm not going to sit down and rehash them all over and over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how quick and easy it is for you to run through and completely rehash one of these sites following the method. And then I'm going to show you the method at the end and give you all the PDF. Once you've got that PDF with the training course that's coming in a week or so, that'll be awesome. But if you can build the sites anyway without the PDF, because once I've gone through this, you'll all understand it. It's pretty easy. Um, and you can all ask me on the group if anyone gets stuck with anything to do videos. So let's go inside it. Okay, this is a site that's not been touched for a long time. As you can see, we've got 15 updates. And all I'm going to do is import. Okay, I'm going to import from file. And all I'm going to do here is click that one button and click open. Okay, I've not gone through this site with you. You could see it was a crap site, wasn't made very well, didn't have many internal links kicking around, had a few links to magic pages and the sites that are on have, have over time because they were made as PBN sites to outlink to other sites, have started to drop and get, de not de-indexed completely, but they've only got 20, 30 pages now still indexed. Um, can you all see that still? Auto doctor. I don't think I've ever shared that one. Yeah, I can just see Jean saying, oh, doctor, auto electrician. Fake name. <laughs> Dab G. I don't know who that is then. Um, and right, so that's finished. I'm not sure if I just have to wait for this bloody thing to sort its head out now. Because it seems to have frozen. I don't know if that's because I've got this open with you guys. Let's go to the home page. Okay, right. So previously I've had this on a site with an SSL certificate. But obviously this is not going on it now. So I can click advanced. Proceed to unsafe. Boom. There we go. We have a site. But what we don't have on it yet is, and as you can see, it just says London or all locksmiths. Right. So what I now need to do. He's logging. Right, can somebody put in the comments where Leicester is in the UK for me? Because that says Leicester up there, and obviously I need to now. I need to now um, know where Leicester is so I can install the database for it. Midlands, next thing, Midlands, next to Chester. Lesser is the Midlands, East Midlands, right, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to me thing. Okay, I use um, Elementor Pro. So what I have to first do once I've created one of these sites is I have to click on this button here. I have to click disconnect. I have to connect. And then I have to log in to activate it. And that just activates my um, Elementor. It's not necessary. You can get where you're not doing, but <clears throat> It's one of the few things. I think I've paid that off for two years. I like it that much. Okay, dokie. Okay. Next step is we're going to go to Magic Page. I'm going to click on Settings. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom just to make sure everything's taken care of and click Save, okay? It's already got my API key and all my other stuff in. If I'd have done this on a brand new URL, it would work instantly. I may have to... Um, Nope, I've not had to do it. Right, so the way this comes in now, because it's already cloned and saved, as you can see, we've got the major cities throughout the whole UK installed, right? So I'll just come straight into here and click uninstall all databases. 
So how quick this has happened, and I've obviously most of the time has been to do with waiting. All right, let me see what you guys have said. Midlands, East Midlands, right, okay. So I'm gonna go into filters. I'm gonna get rid of major locations. I'm gonna select 5,000, apply filters. East Midlands got 400 locations, I'll install them. So that should only take a couple of seconds. So now we've just in installed every location in the East Midlands with more than 5,000 population in it. Next thing, which is what I should have done already, because this is on an old site. What I want to do is I don't want to break all the old pages that used to work. So what I do is I'll click copy, I'll open another tab, and then I'll just go, because I should have done, I should have checked this earlier. Site colon, and just have a look, and it'll say to me, see there's only 86 pages in. So it's local, local was the keyword. So what we do is we go to our URL structure, put the word local back in so it doesn't break what we've done previously. And then I'm going to change that to 30 mile radius. Okay, because this is going to be a local website. I don't care how many pages get installed, but it's going to be a local website of all the areas within a 5,000, a five, uh, 30 mile radius with over 5,000 population. And that's been done. Okay, so then we click on a magic page and we edit. And then we go, oh, it's verifying me. It's let me in. And then we're just going to type in here Leicester or Leicester or whatever you want to call it. Do that. It should pull a 30 mile radius. So we've only got uh, 202 locations. Click update. Now, when I go and have a look at this site, that's it. That's all we have to do. If the magic page doesn't work, so you're going to view the magic page. If that doesn't work, then the situation we're in is that, which it does, you just go in and you make a few changes, which will go through on the PDF. But now what we've got here, let me go back to the home page. We've now got a brand new, unique, pre-spun Leicester Auto Locksmiths. All of the stuff here will be spun. All of the content is spun throughout the page. So if I click, and this is on every single page of the website, okay? So we've just created a 15-page website plus 200-odd location pages. Okay, now there is a redirect you need to put in place here, but I'm going to talk to you about that when we get over to the PDF. Now, if I was to go into this one here, this Portsmouth one, I can do the other one in, in a couple of minutes and have a Portsmouth site up that covers all the areas with all brand spanking new, unique content working throughout the whole page, okay? And then again, if I do this CMJ Auto one, that was actually a national site previously, I can go in and do a site and just keep all the, the major locations throughout the country and it'll automatically work with London as the central location. So that's the final result. So I can build 50 sites in a day really, really quick, really, really easy. And every single one is going to be unique and perfect. But this first one is absolutely spot on. It just, it works the way it should. Okay, now I've shown you the end result first. Um, I don't know if we've lost many people because of that. <laughs> but now I'm going to go over and I'm going to show you the PDF, which I'm going to give to everybody in the chat soon. But first of all, I want to talk you all through it. So let me see if I can find my PDF. I think it's part of preview. Boom. Can everybody see my PDF there, guys? The one I use looks crap compared to this, okay? I've made it look nice for, for, for you guys. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, yes, 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 pray. <laughs> Steve, it is pretty, isn't it, mate? Right, cool. Okay, guys, this basically is a copy of the model that is, is being used. What is working across all the sites, what people are doing on every single site and the way it's working. And then the other stuff that people are doing that's different, I have, I've, I've got rid of all that. So you've got literally, this is what you would be able to give to a VA if you use a VA and say, this is how it needs putting together. Watch these videos, do this, go away and create that in a week, yeah? Now, the reason I've done it as a seven-day success model is you only want to work a few hours a day. Nobody wants to work loads and loads of hours. So I'll just, I'll just start. Let me open the second page, first of all. Okay, so day one, first thing we're going to do is create a template. And as you can see, oh, I'm trying to get this so everyone can see it. 
Can I close that bloody thing? No. Okay. Oh, I can make it look little, little kind of. Right. It's just I can't see everything. Right, so the first thing you want to be doing with this is you want to be creating a template. And it's very, very simple, very basic, very easy. But you create a template so that you've got one. Now, if you're using WordPress, I would recommend Elementor. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but they've just released a brand new theme that they're claiming is the fastest WordPress theme ever released. Okay, I've seen it on advertisement. I didn't even click through and have a proper look, but I know that that's what they're claiming. So I'm assuming that's in the Elementor library now. Okay, now the first thing you need to do after your template's been built, and this is a very, it's about three hours work. It's two hours work at two to three hours work at the most, right? You must work on mobile phones. So whatever your template looks like, now if anybody's not used Elementor, the way this will work is you create a single page that's your template, just a single page that you like, and you save it to the template, and then you use it on every page of your website. So the rest of it is very, very simple and easy to do. Right, then you've got call to action several times on the page. So you're gonna want your call to action. Um, oh, it says it on here actually. Number's gonna to be top right or top center above the fold. So that means above the part of the website that people can see. And then you're gonna repeat your number near the bottom of the site because what people have a tendency to do is scroll to the bottom and look reading the headlines. Don't read all the content, but they check out your headlines, okay? And if you're using a form, same situation. Have the form above the fold. Um, so that they can obviously see it as soon as they log onto your website. It's a very simple, basic site structure. You're going to have your home page. Then you're going to have three to ten service pages. Now, I used to call these buffer pages, but the sites that I've seen working and ranking and doing well have been creating these as service pages. Well, they're the same thing, but the content on them is pretty decent, which I'm going to go through content in day two, three, and four. Okay, so it's three to ten service pages. So all you need to do on your first day is create a one page template for your site. So you've got a template. Yep. Then you do is you create your, link, your, your, your internal structure with all your services. So your menu with each individual service. And you're going to have one magic page, which obviously you can't add that on until you're thinking. Now, I know I'm talking specifically on magic page here. It's because this is the ones I use to do it. But if you're doing this with Mass Website Builder, it's, it's, it's very similar, very easy to set up. Building the template is probably a bit more difficult, but once you've built the template, you can just save it and it'll work, okay? And you save it as a template and drag and drop them in as you've created the central location. It's slightly different. So that's it. That's it. The first day, it's going to take you three hours work maximum. There's going to be hardly any work at all. Uh, three hours and you're done completely right. This is where the work starts, okay? Day two, three, and four are going to be done with, with the content section, which is the most important part. I can see Adrian McGivens on there. You're doing my one of these right now, aren't you, mate? My next project, <laughs> we've just finished one, me and Paul, and Adrian's doing uh, helping us with it with our next one. I've just noticed his name on the uh, on the thing there. Um, right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch YouTube video. Right, no, sorry. What you're going to do is keyword research. Now, the best way to do it is keyword research that's working right now. Stuff like that on YouTube, put it in, find the videos that have got the most comments, the most thumbs ups and stuff like that and listen to what they're saying. What we do though, is obviously we go for the most search terms. Another thing we look at is the bit down the bottom of the page on Google and where it auto fills itself. Okay, but you want in services anyway. So so, so we use like keywords everywhere. Uh, we use Ahrefs, that's a paid one. You don't need it specifically. I'm just showing you what we use. I have Rank Tracker, Lifetime License, and the person I work with my projects, he has it as well. Um, and we both paid for that because it's, that's really worth having, not just Rank Tracker, but probably all their tools are pretty cool. And Google Keywords Planner, but you do need an AdWords campaign um, running so that you can use that properly. Um, but keyword research, if you watch a video on YouTube that shows you how to do your keyword research, spend an hour watching videos, you will know everything there is to know. If you go into my um, YouTube channel, there's actually a couple of videos in there about it as well. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. And then the next step is to jump onto your content. So I'm going to move over to this bit. Right. <clears throat> so what I would advise, hence why we're using Adrian, um, who's Irish. So I don't know if that is. Is that English speaking, Adrian? What do you reckon? <laughs> Sorry, mate. No, write yourself or purchase from a native English speaker. OK, now, uh, basically, you want to be purchasing your content from somebody who speaks English natively. If you're not and you're purchasing this crap cheap stuff or Fiverr from, from people who don't speak English properly, it's not going to work to the same extent. It's not going to work right and it's not going to work properly because 
you've not put the time and effort in. This is this is your investment, right? If somebody said to you, I was to go and invest, um, I don't know, $1,000, $2,000, whatever it was in content for a website, but it's going to do 50 or 100 or 150 websites. And each of those websites is going to make me, I don't know, £100 a week for the next five years, straight away, you'd throw the money at them. Okay, so so scrimping on this bit is 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 it's false. It's, you shouldn't be doing it. It's, it's it's a false economy. Okay, now what you what you need to do when getting your your, your um, content done is you need to create a wireframe of your content requirements. So and the points that it should cover. Now the reason you do this is you don't want to end up with crappy blog content. Ten reasons why or ten ways to unblock your toilet. Every man and his dog is creating content. 10 ways to unblock your toilet, 10 ways to, to, to fix a dripping tap, stupid things like that. Okay, they're great for advertisements and they get clicks, but that's not what we want when we're trying to build local business websites or local service websites and we want to convert these into money. Okay, the people that are looking for 10 ways to fix dripping tap are not looking for a plumber to come out and fix dripping tap. Okay, so you need to basically get a wireframe set together of your content requirements and points that it should cover so that you don't end up with crappy content check the first piece they do, approve it, then let them run away and go and do the rest of it, okay? In addition to that, you want 10 times four to 600 words of service page content, okay? Now, this needs to be spun at a sentence level, uh, five deep, and spun at a word level manually. So it must read perfect, every single version, every variation of it must read perfectly. Now, before I move on from here, and all spin text confuses quite a lot of people, does everybody on here understand what I mean when I say spun at a sentence level and spun at a word level? Do you understand what I mean by the content when I'm saying that? Anyone who doesn't, right here, no. Okay, we've got a few yeses, quite a few noes, quite a few no, 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 sentence level question mark. Adrian is higher. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> I was joking, mate. Uh, not 100% sure. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a quick demo of this first before we move on any further, because I'm going to talk about this quite a bit, and there's no point in me showing you talking and talking and talking, and, and you're in the back of your head, you're thinking, what the, what the hell's um, spun at content level mean? You not know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go to, to right. So the screen should change to a black screen. Um, can everybody see a black screen? I was just looking then, I was thinking, is Adrian typing yes, but I don't understand five deep? <laughs> and he's doing our work, oh no. <laughs> right, yeah, back in black, cool. Okay, guys, you should be able to see my writing when I'm pointing it up here, yeah? Okay, I'll make the writing a little bit bigger, I think. Um, preferences. I'm not sure I know how to do it, to be totally honest with you. Ah, oh, there we go. One sec. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just going to make the writing a bit bigger so people can see what I'm doing. Right, that should be big enough now. Um... Right, so basically, what we mean by, by, by set a spun at a sentence level. So let's say we're writing a headline for a for a H1 tag. Yep, so um, best local plumber in London, okay? Right, so the two keywords we're looking at, because we're doing a H1 tag, is going to be plumber and London. Yep, drop it down here. London's, I don't know if that's where the apostrophe should be or it should be there. Anyway, not important. London's best local plumber, uh, 24 hour plumber London, Right, so what you can see now is you've got five sentences, yeah? So you want to be going five deep. Now, you want to be doing this throughout all your content. So what you want is here is the start of your spin text. Down here is the end of your spin text. 
and each one of these gets a pipe to say this is a new piece of spin text okay so this would be your h1 for your page that's five sentences deep so you've got best local plumber in london you've got london's best and you notice how i've moved the word london around okay it's in different places so there's one second word in first word in first word in last word last word so on and so forth right then what you do when i was saying at word level you'll select a word like best and what you'll do is you'll put another spin text bracket at the beginning of it and then you'll hit a pipe number one right so now you've got um, the, the first one it could choose it's got five different options of perfectly well written uh, sentences because it's spun five deep at sentence level and then it's spun again at word level best top number one local plumber in London yeah um, you can for this for example you could have do that then you just put a pipe and close it okay so now it's gonna say best local plumber in London or it might say best plumber in london because when you have a pipe with a gap like that it's going to leave a blank or if you put top plumber in london or top local plumber in london and so on and so forth see what you're doing is making it read perfectly throughout okay and this is what your content guide needs to do so it's going to cost you a little bit more but So to speak, something along the lines like that near you in London, best local plumber near you in London, best local plumber in London. And that there's now first one spun at word level and at sentence level. OK, second one, you do the same. And this is how your guys. OK, London's top local plumber, London's number one local plumber. Lund and, and, and there's not many, much keyword look variation here. Uh, best 24 hour plumber instead of local we can change that to 24 hour so where we've got local there we can have 24 hour plumber near you in london or in london and what you're doing here is you're spinning at sentence level first so that you've got five perfectly well written sentences and then they have to spin it manually at word level so that every single one reads perfectly okay now you look at this and when it's finished it'll take me 10 minutes to do a h1 but that maybe even five minutes, probably not that long once you get used to doing it, but that will now spin thousands and thousands of times and every single one will be unique, will be completely unique, okay? So you can spin it thousands and thousands of times. And that is what we're aiming to do here is we want every single section of the site to be spun every time we do that little five minute step that I did at the beginning. When you upload a new site, it basically enables you to have a brand spanking new, perfectly well written, if you can go out then with this just for an example you can go out and sell plumbing sites with a 30 mile radius for 250 dollars to customers okay and a customer will be like what you do? how's he how's he doing a, a 150 page website for 250 dollars well, it's simple you're going over to his website that he's already got you're installing all in one wp migration you're installing um the the upsell which is about 30 quid so you can so we can do a bigger one you upload the website you change the central location okay but you need a login for this and then you just hide your api key and he's got a he's got a website there that's that's 300 pages and it's just took you five minutes to make 250 dollars right that's just one way i use it for lead generation but you can use this now to build plumbing websites all over the uk or all over the us that are completely unique right so these will go out 50 or 100 times over no problem at all without any issues and that's what we're using it for and that's what every single customer i've spoke to is doing that's making decent money with this i'm not saying that a lot of the people who are not making decent money but what i did is i went through my system and i thought right this customer's got 100 100 websites in in this niche this guy's got 200 websites in this niche this guy's got 50 in that one 50 in that one 50 in that one 50 in that one what are they doing so i've got in touch with the guys i've had a chat with them on facebook we've gone through what they're doing gone through what i'm doing and it, the process is so close because all they've done is they've looked at what works or they've looked at what we've told them to do previously and they've run with it and now they're making shit loads of cash doing it okay so it's a very very simple easy method to do and once you do this once you could have a new one of these put up every single week 
um, or once a month and just work one week a month. Um, and once they start to generate an income via lead generation, whether you're selling websites, whatever it is you're doing, if you do start decide to do this when you're selling websites, remember that watch the video I've done with the six step value ladder because that's very, very important for turning normal first time customers into high paying monthly customers and it works in, in any type of website that you're selling that's on the youtube channel everybody probably knows where my youtube channel is um right okay guys does everybody understand that does everybody understand that or does anyone need me to just explain any additional parts now i'm only looking at the very bottom bit so let me click on this because somebody's putting can you lay out the i don't know what you're saying there uh lulu one sec why is this not working? It's not letting me make it bigger. Oh, I know what to do. I click on it, don't I? Sorry, I keep forgetting. Right, can 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 right? Uh, Richards asked. That's a good question, actually. I don't normally answer questions till the end. Um, I thought he was asking about this. So it looks like most people understand it. Yep, yep, yep. I understand. Amazing. All good. Yes, 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 yes. But he did ask a question. Um, can you can you lay out the elements you do yourself and the elements you outsource? Um, I outsource everything now. <laughs> Absolutely everything. And I don't outsource it to idiots. Uh, a lot of people just go, oh, can you get the cheapest this? Get me the cheapest con. I try and find the best people for it. And I pay them a little more but I get better results because of that, uh, Richard. So I outsource most of what I do, but I outsource it to people that I know are, are, are decent, upstanding people who, who are going to do the work correctly. They're going to do the work how you need the work doing. Um, I'm not going to jump onto the questions yet because I've got, if I can get this done in 20 minutes, I can answer half an hour of questions before I have to get off. But um, yes, that's it. I'm going to now continue with the presentation. Everybody says yes, 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 yes. Word level, Simon, as you can see, the word level is where we've done best, top and number one. You see best, top and number one, that's word level. The first five sentences we did and then we wrapped them in spin text is the, is the sentence level. So you spin them all at the sentence level first, meaning put five high quality sentences in that you want for that section so if you want five h1 tags put five h1 tags for the page then spin each of your h1 tags at word level so you know every single one's going to read perfectly you don't even need to put them together like this at first you can go like that you can have it so it's all split up first and you've got the gaps so then when i'm working this london's best local yeah london's best for example we can have 24 7 oh what have i just done i've missed that out Yep, then we can have 24 seven and we can have um, rapid response. Um, emergency is a big one. Okay, so now you're gonna get London's best local, London's best 24 seven, London's best rapid response, London's best emergency plumber, all from that one. So what you're doing is you, you spin in the sentences then at word level, okay, and change best from top and number one and greatest or whatever you want to put. Totally up to you that how you do that bit. Okay, I'm going to jump back over to my other screen and I'm going to carry on through the PDF. Um, let me just try and find it first. I think it's that one. No, no, that's the one I'm already on. One minute. Sorry, guys. Preview. We will get there with this. I should really employ someone to do this, shouldn't I? To flip through my screen so I don't have to mess every time i think that's part of the fun though right home page content but like your home page content is more, much more important than your buffer page content when you're doing this so we've gone through buffer page make sure it's spun perfectly four to six hundred words you want 10 industries and we don't always put 10 industries on we don't always put like that website i've just shown you where it's got 10 we don't always do that we um we sometimes Oh, someone said PDF, no, the PDF on screen. Um, we'll probably sometimes only use three or four of those in a website, but we'll do it on different on, the, on different websites. It's very easy to drop it in and out. You can turn the pages into drafts so they're not being used and stuff like that. We So I would recommend creating 10 pages of service content, and you can drop it in and out as you want and just change the menu so you've got the right pages for the right site. Um, and you'll understand a little bit more when I do the on-page SEO in a minute that we use this again these service pages, we use these for our H3s later on. Um, right, so then you've got five, a thousand words of spun um, 
a thousand words spun at sentence level five deep for the home page yes spun at word level manually must read purposes we've just gone through all that. So that's the state of that right the next one is your magic page or your mass con your mass content pages okay so these need a thousand words on each of them minimum okay you can go longer you can put it in tabs you can hide it in different places some industries don't need a thousand words still use a thousand words why would you not do get it to the point where it's better than everybody else's content but obviously like we said not shitty blog content not 10 ways to unblock a toilet it just, just nobody really writes that stuff unless they're just trying to think it you want proper website content so um we offer a 24-hour toilet and blocking service in this location for this sort of price you would be looking at um who's arriving within 40 minutes um, we charge a call, whatever it is that you, you find on these websites, that's the sort of stuff you want. You don't want the crap that you buy if you go over to Fiverr. Um, right, so these again spun at word level manually, must read perfectly, okay? So it's spun at sentence level 10 deep, then at word level. So you've got 10 times as many. Now, the reason you've got more on here is this is going to be the page that goes out and blankets all the areas around your website. So there might be three, four, 500 locations, okay? You spin text short codes to spin at sentence level so content can evolve. Does everybody know what spin text short codes are? Um, just give me some yeses or no's in the thing because if it's something you don't understand how to use, I'm better off showing you now rather than you trying to think about it all the way through the um, through the presentation and not write, no, 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 no. Oh, we got a yep, 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 no, 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 yep, yep, wow. Wow, you are all listening. Look how many yous are commenting. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I thought you have all fell asleep by now. Right. Now, this is only relevant to Magic Page. This is not relevant to Mass Website Builder. Um, and there's a different strategy for Mass Website Builder, slightly how you build it, but the overall approach is the same. Okay, I'm going to go back to them websites I was on before. Let me get this thing back up. And I'm just going to explain to you what spin text short codes are. So let me go into, where is it now? I think it'll be Google. Oh, it's that one there. Okay, okay, we're inside um, one of the websites. Let's go over to a different site because it's just an old PBN crappy site. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on there and I'm going to go to the magic page. So this is the page that multiplies itself thousands of times. I'm going to click view. Right, so you see we've got content here. Yep. Right, edit magic page. So the, the, the content that you've had written that's been text level that's spun by things. If you scroll down the page, you're going to find something here called in spin text short codes. Yep. Right. So we you can do this at a paragraph level, or this can be done at a sentence level. I, I tend to do it at a paragraph level. Doing it at a sentence level will get a bit messy, uh, but it's very, very easy. So all I'm going to just do is, in fact, I'm just going to put paragraph one. Yep. And then we're going to save that. Okay, then when we click edit next, you see it's got add new option. Right, this is only for your magic page and the reason this is done, I think it said it on the PDF, I'll check in a second, is so that it can evolve over time. So you can add and take away from the content as you feel like it without getting into a page full of spun content and thinking, Jesus Christ, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so it's very, very important that if you use this, and I'm going to go back over to that page. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to go back to that content we had on a minute ago. Where is it gone? Oh, it's not letting me. Bugger. Right. Okay. So what we do now is you add five sentences to here. So best local plumber in London. Yep. Jump down. London's best local plumber it's 24 hour response in London rapid oh and phone numbers on pages and stuff like that I would also use these or use the X fields rapid I'm not I know these are probably not very good but Okay, so we've got those, yep. Then what we do is, like I said before, we go in and we spin at word level. So what this does is it spins them at paragraph level, for at, word, at sentence level for us. 24-7, uh, 
um, and then let's close that off with a space which might say fun. right then we're going to save that and then we copy this little thing here and we scroll up to where the content is on the page and we pop this in here let's make it a h1 just so you see it on the page as soon as it comes on and click update right now what that's going to do is that's going to spin the page when we go and view the page it gives us 24 hour response in london that might be it yes yeah, that bot 24 hour response in london yep now if i go to a different page via the city short code london plumbers near me and if I come down, best 24 7 plumber in London. So, as you can see, what it's doing is it spins it at sentence level for you. But now, if say, say, say we think to ourselves, right, these sites need a boost, these sites need to rank a little bit better, and we're struggling a little bit, or they're starting to drop a little bit. I don't want to go in and change the content on the whole site because it's cost me whatever, and I don't want to ruin the content. What do I do? Well, then you go back into here. Okay, and you'd go to get paragraph one of the page, wherever it is there, click edit, and then you just add more. Okay, so and then we save and we update the page. Okay, and then let's say there's, there's there's words and sentences and things in there that are no longer relevant. Okay, so now this will also incorporate Rapid Plum in London. I'm just going to try and find one of the ones that we've just added. We do. Uh, why do we plumb so good? There you go. So that's just been added. So what it enables you to do is work on the content after it's been added to the pages. Very, very easy. So... What I would recommend doing is everything that you add to your pages, add them inside your spin text short codes. It's very simple, very easy to do. You just literally add it to your spin text short codes first, and then create um, H1, H2s, H3s, um, and so on and so forth. So each one's got its own name as what it's called. This would be paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four. And if you're using Elementor, you just in, stick it inside of the page builder as opposed to the way I've just done it on here. So you have them all saved on one side, paragraph one, two, three, put them in a text edit up, drag them into your page as you're building it, and you can build it instantly there and then. And it will then change dynamically as the page goes, and it will automatically spin and automatically grow, and it'll just work, okay? Does everybody understand that? Wow, a few swear words there. <laughs> Uh, except Adrian, who's putting loads of Zs. Come on, Adrian. <laughs> right, most of you guys understand that. So most of you, you like that. You think that's, that's a cool feature? <laughs> except you, Adrian. Uh, right, let me go back to the, to, the, to the PDF. If I see any areas where I think people might struggle, I'm going to purposely do that so that I, I don't confuse anybody. And by the end of it, you should know what you're doing, at least to a certain extent. And then... I'll put the, when the training course comes out, like I said, you're all going to get it. Right, this is a complicated bit now, a little bit complicated, but it's quite important. Um, and it wasn't me that, that, that realized this needs to be done, um, but it does and it will help. Now, if you've ever built a website for any company, they send their majority of their traffic to their homepage. Yep. Now, the reason they do that is the homepage is a central location. Well, with MPP, as we, we, we saw before when we were looking at the, the the sites let's go back and have a look at the Leicester site while we're on here one second let me I've lost everybody again okay so you're looking at this Leicester the Leicester site yeah if I go into the home page of this what you'll find because we changed the central location to Leicester Leicester's the central location but also because we use the short codes in, internally throughout the whole site Leicester are all locksmiths, and if we come down, oh, we'll go back to that previous page because they're only in that footer. But if we go down there and put car key replacement, what you're going to see, Leicester are all locksmiths, and it all relates to Leicester, 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 Leicester. As you can see, uh, the content car key duplicate. Sorry about the noise outside, guys. And as you can see, the content is all spun for Leicester. Okay, so it all fits around Leicester. So that's because we use the short codes. In fact, let me show you the page. 
for those who don't understand. This is a normal internal page. This is a normal internal page. So what happens is, it's probably a bit that I missed off the presentation, I should have gone through. See there, it says location. Okay, if we go and look at the home page, if we look down here, see it says location, location, location. Okay, and everywhere that we want the word Leicester to show up, it's gonna say location. If I go and look at the home page the same, and we edit with Elementor, you're gonna see it says the word location in the places. See, it says location. That's because when you set your central location, how I was showing you to do it earlier, it doesn't just change the central location on the magic page. It spreads it out throughout the whole site. So location, county, region, zip, longitude, latitude, geolocation data, uh, you, you city shot code, the locations that it spreads around, it connects all them together as well for you on a, on a site-wide basis. So you can literally upload a template for any site from any area, from anywhere, and it will automatically pull in this information throughout the whole thing. Okay, if that doesn't make sense, I'll do another site at the end if we've got time. Click on the preview. Okay, guys, so what this is, what I'm trying to show you to do here is you redirect and what you're going to be doing is redirecting from your home page from your um to your home page um so what you need to do is you need to open now everyone has to listen to this bit because it's, it's quite complicated if you don't know what you're doing right 301 redirect central location so for that site we've just done okay let me just go and have a quick look oh it's not letting me do it is it a little bugger thing Right, I'm going to have to look where you guys are looking. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I've, I've had to share this screen with you again because it won't let me do it unless I'm showing you guys. So when I go to the magic page on here, I've got the URL structure. Okay, so you see where it says, right there, we see if we click on a uh, West Coats, local West Coats. So local is, this, is the URL structure and West Coats is the location we're on. So it depends which location we're working on. But if I was doing this site, if we look at the settings, you can see that's where you set your URL structure in there. Okay, All right. So now I'll come back to the actual document that I was working on. And when you're making the edits inside of the HT access, what you're going to be doing is, where's it gone now? Here we go. Everybody should be able to see that again. Right. So what you're going to be doing is you go into, you, you, and, and this bit is the most difficult part um, of all of it, but there isn't really another way of doing it unless you want to put in a, a some sort of redirect plugin that can work through the thing. So what you do is you open your um, file manager. You look for a page called HT, a folder called .ht access, yeah. And what you're going to be doing is, but you go inside the public and then look for .ht access, and then what you're going to be looking for is something that says rewrite engine on, okay. And then it'll have a bit further down, it'll say rewrite engine off, and there'll be a bit of codey crap in between it. You want to copy this in there, copy that in in between the two. Then I would change the URL structure to local. And I would change that to the word Leicester because it's a Leicester website. Now, what you need to make sure is you see this little bit here, there's a gap. And all this is doing, redirect 301, is telling it on that particular page, on that particular URL, local Leicester, which is it'll be the Leicester magic page, not the home page, redirect to the forward slash. And the forward slash is the home page. That simple, okay? If you don't see where it says rewrite engine on inside of that folder, inside of that HT access file, and it won't be big, it'll only be 10 lines long, then just copy this bit here, rewrite engine on. And where am I here? Where am I? And these, this bit here, okay? All together, all three of them, just grab the lot. It's just the way the PDF is on this document. And then what that's gonna do is you paste that in and that'll redirect it and then you just change this bit to local whatever url structure is change that to the central location in, in the in our example case it's leicester leave a space get the forward slash and that'll redirect the leicester page to the home page so then you can concentrate on sending all of your off-page seo which is not going to be covered tonight straight to the home page of the website like a real business would do 
as opposed to building these like directory sites where you're going to have most of the off-page SEO pointing at all different pages. Because we're building 20, 30 mile radius, two, 300 page websites, you want to con concentrate around the central location, which is likely going to be the major city. And you want to make that the home page that you concentrate on. Okay, this is this really important. I'll do a specific video just demoing this if people need it. A lot of people might understand it, but if you don't, let me know. Okay. Now the other one here, SSL. Use Cloudflare to set up an SSL new account. This is just a document we give to people, right? So basically, whatever your website is. So ours was Car Locksmith Leicester or something like that before. What we do is we go over to Cloudflare and we set up a brand new account. Info at carlocksmithsleicester.co.uk or whatever it was um and, and then you just as soon as you subscribe uh, you, you register it lets you set up an account without approve it without confirming your email address meaning you don't need to confirm your email address make sure you use this bit this has got to be your url oh crap i don't know what i've just done uh, this has got to be your url because then nobody can have that email address and then reset your password on your SSL and mess, mess things up. Now, if you're having problems when you go on it, keep saying that it's not secure, not secure, not secure. There's a plugin which has got a drawn on padlock, really simple SSL, install that a couple of days after you've done it or, or 24 hours after, and it'll flush your system and set up the SSL for you very, very easy. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. It sounds more complicated than it is. There's a video, I've done a video on how to set up, how to get a free SSL inside my, my YouTube channel. But the rewrite engine on one, if somebody needs a video, show them how to do that, I can do it. All you do with your rewrite engine is go to your file manager, find .ht access, paste that information in, put the uh, URL structure in the location of the center of the site, and you're done. Um, sounds easier. Right, day five, guys. So we've got through the content. We've, done, we've gone through the, we've built the, the um, web page. Um, we've built, sorry, we've built the template and we've got all of the content and we've set up the 301 redirect and the SSL certificates. You can leave that till the next day. Then we're going to go through best practices for on page SEO for these things. Okay. Now, your best practices doesn't necessarily mean this is, you can, you're going to have to follow this rigidly. But what we're finding is the sites that are ranking the best seem to have this structure are very close uh, quite a few of them were different slightly different some had a few more some had a few less but this is the closest to to a happy medium that we found so it's not a rigid structure but it does seem to work very very well for these type of sites okay so i find all in one seo is the easiest for um for your mpp sites um or for any wordpress sites because you can you can set it up so you can edit the meta descriptions and the, and the meta titles right there inside the inside the, the one page for every single uh, one in one area for every single page of the website okay right so with your meta titles which is your meta descriptions everyone should know what they are um it's your top two keywords spun times 10. so when we said spun at sentence level before okay so what we're going to be doing here this is on your mainly on your mpp page but you do this throughout anyway spin them the same five times but when you're building the on-page seo for your M for your magic page now obviously you're going to do the times five for your internal pages your title is spun 10 times 10 deep sentence and word level again as, as close to accurate as you can great idea to put it in a spin text short code okay description a little bit different description although you're going to spin it 10 deep this is your first opportunity to sell to a customer this isn't going to help with your ranking but it's your first opportunity to sell to a customer. So if you get something that's going to hit them emotionally, uh, for example, if you're selling alarms, um, then you, you, you might get down the thing of not sleeping at night, scared of burglars coming into your house, blah, 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 whatever it is. Has he left you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Living on your own and, and scared of a finger or insurance is a good one uh, life insurance you could you, you you go along the lines of people drop dead every single day do you realize blah 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 i know it's negative but it's your first opportunity to try and sell to these people so you're trying to convert these people into buyers right that's your first sales pitch so that's always look at your, your description as your sales pitch okay h1 times one yep right so this is on every single page sorry this is not very well explained because this is just a, a document we use i've copied and pasted it in h1 times one top two keywords one times 10 yeah so remember before where it was plumber in london so we'd have plumber in london in the h1 maybe five or six words in total and we'd spend 10 sentence deep okay h1's got your top two keywords plumber london london plumber 
um, forget all the tiny minor keywords, they're going to be fitted in throughout, okay? Or it says keywords, where it doesn't say top two keywords. So then you've got H2s on the page times three. So we go after three H2s on the page. Again, spin at 10 sentence level, but you just have your, your keywords in there. Now, when we're saying keywords, what we mean is your mainly your services, your service page, whatever your service pages are about, okay? And you try and put them in the page throughout your H2s. Then six H3s, so six H3s. Now, the way we do this is we tend to create little um, a little sticker with the services, again, similar to the services that you've just looked at. And don't forget, you've got nine of these in total, so you're not going to run out. Uh, if you've done 10, you're not going to run out. And then, what, so, so for example, we'd have a little H3 next to a little image of something that you could click and go through to one of the services pages. Um, say, um, toilet leak or toilet repair or, or uh, gas boiler repair, something like that. So say, say one of your services, gas boiler repair, you'd have a H3, you'd have a little image that you can click on and you have six of them on the page and you spin between them. Adrian will know exactly what I mean by this because he's working with me and Eddie at the minute. Image alt tags, keywords one times 10. Get your image alt tags in there. Meta titles, I like to put them in, but we've not seen anything to say that they do or don't make any difference. So it's not 100% necessary, but Meta, uh, image alt tags, keyword spun times 10. And again, use spin tech short codes for all these because if you do it now and you, you start to build these things and it you want it to grow over a period of time, you don't necessarily, if you're going to be doing it yourself, want to do it all in a few days. But you know if you well, the area you're using your spin tech short codes, you can add to it as you go. You can see a sentence and think, oh, that's great. I'll add that to me. Um, I'll add that to me H1, I'll add that to me H2, I'll add that to me H3, I'll add that into my content. You see a good paragraph about something to do with plumbing, you think I'll add that in. in. So spin text short codes are really, really handy for that. Okay, your, your sites evolve and grow, especially if you're only going after one niche, but if you're going after three, four, five, six niches like we do, um, then it's thing. Another thing is when you're uploading your images, name them all numbers to start with. Okay, now when you change the name of those images, you're going to have to re resubmit them to the page but what we do is we'll upload them all as numbers and if we're starting to struggle with ranking and stuff like that we've actually seen positive increase by naming the files to do with the location and the keyword of where they're from and what site now there's no way of doing this across on a site by site by site basis so what we do is we name we put them all in the file names as numbers first of all and we edit them if we're starting to struggle with with a bit more advanced on page seo but we've seen quite good results with that. So I thought it was relevant to put it in here as something that you should actually be doing. Um, next page. Day six. Okay. So that's it for, 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 for day five. Let me go back to day five. This is it. Literally, you're going to be going through each individual page, making sure you've got meta titles set on every single page. Make sure you've got sales pitch descriptions. Okay, so that's one day. So it's about three hours work that for the whole website. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, H1s times one, H2 times three, H3 times six. Yep, that we, we, we've seen positive uh, results with with them numbers. So if you only had five H3s and a couple more H2s, it's not a big deal. But we see, see more positive results having a, that sort of structure. Image alt tags and obviously file names, you do that when you're uploading your images. Uh, clean your images before you upload them, guys, because if you're not doing, you, 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 and you're nicking your images from places, then it's not very good. Um, so clean the images, clean the metadata. My YouTube channel, you've got videos on there that show you exactly how to deal with the metadata on images and stuff like that. Okay, so we're now on to day six. We're almost there. We've pretty much created it, and it's not very difficult. If you follow this structure, it's very easy. First day's your, let's just have a quick scan. So your first day, you're building your template. Super easy, super simple, two hours max. Day two, three, and four, you're working on your content. Okay, so it gives you three days to work on your content. If you do two or two hours a day, a couple of hours a day, <laughs> And then if you struggle in by the end of, of day of day um, three, just put a bit more time in on day four, okay? Jumping over to page five, you get your own page SEO. So you're going to run through. Remember, you're only doing this for one website. You're not doing this for loads and loads and loads of websites. So, so day five, you're going to stick the on-page SEO. You're just going to go through and get it to a reasonable structure like this, okay? Day six, we're then looking at schema. Okay, look alert, MPP page does the schema for you um, inside of MPP. So you don't really massively need to worry about that.
But what I would recommend doing is the areas where you put in your meta titles and your meta descriptions, which you should have already done from your on-page SEO, is spinning them about 10 deep, okay, for, for, for the MPP page. Um, and then adding schema into your head code on your other sites. If anyone's struggling with that, you can go to uh, schemabuilder.mikejmartin.com and I've created a free schema builder that people can use there. That won't be free forever. It's not going to be up there forever, but when that disappears, anyone who's got MPP gets access to it inside there anyway. So you can drag schema from anyone's website, edit it, and copy and paste it straight out into wherever you want. We're going to put an export button in there. We talked about it last night. Um, right. So we'll go with schema everywhere, which, which shouldn't be very difficult at all. You, you're talking a maximum of 12 pages where, you, where you're going to be adding your schema in here um, or maybe even just the home page and the areas served and stuff like that. But mainly the MPP page, it needs to be specific to the industry that you're on. Now there is, I don't, everybody should know about this, but there is a drop down or inside of the page where you can choose which type of local business schema that you use. Right, next step is use city shortcode on MPP page five to 10 locations. Uh, so basically what that means is the city shortcode, it's different in mass website builder than it is in MPP, but you can change the number of locations that show on a page, okay? So use that on the MPP pages showing, five, or, or the mass pages should I call them, five to 10 locations, okay? then. Use a city short code in the service pages randomly between five and 15 location links. Okay, you're not going to kill it if you went at 15 links. Uh, oh, it says it on there actually. I've just read, I just mentioned that a minute ago schema builder.mikejmartin.com free schema tool. So that helps you build your schema there. You can import schema from anyone else's website, edit it to what you want inside the form, copy the code, paste it into your head, and you're done. And there's a tool inside of WordPress if you're doing it there called foot, head and foot code. So that's it. It's a pretty easy, it's a couple of hours maximum. Right, day seven, super simple. You bought your domain names. So I know I've put 100 URLs on here. So it's upload and clone to 100 URLs. I use all in one WP migration. Um, and I have the upsell, which is about $30. Go into each site and change the central location. So I showed you how to do this earlier. I was supposed to show you this after. Um, I can show you again at the end if you want. Then clear the spin text cache on the magic page settings and save. Now I'm referring to magic page more because I use this a lot and I've already had this document in place. Um, but you, you, when you're doing this on MWB, you go in and you, you you actually rebuild the site and you save the templates and you just drag one into each page. So it's, it's, it's a little bit different, but the same process still works. That's why we've made it so all the pages can be spun. Um, and then note, check that the magic page works. So what you do is you're going to check that the magic page itself works. I think you remember I said it earlier. If it works, cool. If it doesn't work, you go back into the settings where I've shown you where the URL structure is and you change it and then you save it and then you change it back and then you save it again. And um, what will happen is it should reset everything. It should just work. That's probably one of our most frequently asked questions when a magic page stops working. Uh, changing the thing will reset the site, right? Um, if you have any issues at all, then come to the Facebook group and create a post so that we can help you. And this is a link to the Facebook group. Now let me share that because I don't think I've already shared it, have I? No, I share it in handouts, don't I? Sorry, guys. And then I've got about 20, 15, 20 minutes. I can answer some questions if people have got them and demo anything that I can. I'm just going to find this folder for file fees first. That should be uploading now, guys. So if people just let me know they've got it, let me know that you have received this and you can get your hands on it now because that PDF is going to be really handy and it's going to be a full work through PDF because I'm going to create the training courses from the PDF. Or I am creating them from the PDFs already. Uh, are people receiving that? Got it, thanks. Nice one, Ben. First person to let me know. Yep, got it. Don't understand, right, guys. Okay, I've got about 15 minutes that I can stay on. I'm gonna try and whip through and ask, answer as many questions I, as I can on here. I'm gonna start from the, I can't start from the bottom because new questions. Yep, he's on the handouts. Right, so, right, question. I'm just going to work my way up here. I remember where I am here with the finger. 
uh, somebody's put right is the model centered around one main location with nearby locations or does it work with multiple bigger locations with nearby locations for each right basically what what it does peter is it works based on the central location you choose on the magic page what it does is it runs out and restructures the whole site based on whatever central location you choose so if you choose a central location of uh, miami every single page you build because you use a location short codes you've used the magic page short codes inside of that page every single page on that site with that site structure is going to be a miami page for sort of my, miami toilet unblocking miami boiler repair miami whatever they are services that you're using and then the the other pages other than the one that you 301 redirect in will be the closest locations surrounding Miami so in the in the example I've just done tonight it's 30 pages sorry a 30 mile radius and it's the closest areas with over 5,000 population so that will build us a site in round Leicester with 200 areas that have got over 5,000 population within a 30 mile radius well that makes sense uh, got PDF Um, can you discuss monetization strategies? You know what? I can do a Randy. I can do a full webinar on that, but that's not something I'm going to be able to go through massively tonight. Um, I usually simplify for mine, um, and and I sell leads, and I also use it to convert jobs to leads. So I sell leads direct to local businesses, um, and in addition to that, we also sell. Um, so you give jobs to subcontractors who either go out and pay us a percentage of the job or we take a booking fee off the customer up front and send that out. But I can do a full webinar on that, but I probably haven't got time to go into much detail on that one tonight as it is on its own. Um, right, guys, you need to be looking in the handout section. That's where it is. That's where the handout is. Uh, somebody's put is there a website uh, sorry is there a demo website we can check the process again there certainly is it's it's, quite, it's 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 an old version but it's still the same process so what you do is you're going over to webinars but with a z so it's webinars z at the end dot net webinars dot net and if you put com command and f which is command and search for, for f search for evergreen okay you're going to find on there evergreen site model the evergreen site model is exactly what we've gone through today. Now, when we first did this, I don't know how long ago it was, I did videos on there because we created something and it was a great idea and we all thought it was amazing. But it's now um, proven that it works. Um, we've seen we've seen all the evidence. Everybody who's actually making the most money with the mass page and the way they're doing it is using this exact same model. And if you think about it, once you've built that evergreen site over the first week, like I said to you, if you put 10 sites up in, in, in 14 days, you can put them 10 sites up in the first hour of your first day, your second week, and you're done. And that's it. You can just leave them to wait till they get indexed. That's what I do. Or you can index them the manual app, and then it's off-page SEO. Um, and, and I'm working with, with, with Paul to do a proper off-page SEO training course for people so you understand it at a, a, a better level than, than, than most of these training courses that have been done but, but off page is off page it's, it's 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 very simple it's very easy it's not rocket science if you get the site structure right on these you should be okay and in most industries will rank it anyway uh, right lulu's put can you do this with mass website builder as opposed to mass page uh, Yes, you can. Magic page plugin, sorry. Uh, yes, you can. What, because the way Mass Page Builder is built, Mass, Mass Website Builder, should I say, is built, you build the pages out inside first with all your short codes, and then you save them as templates. Okay? So you go in, you do it, you save it as a template, and then what you do, let me see if I can just open my... Right, so you save it as a template. So I can't show you how to save it as a template right now, but what I'm going to show you is, oh crap, get out of there, don't do that. Um, right, it's not letting me... Um, 
Let me just pause my screen a sec. One sec, guys. Where are they? There they are. Ah, that's why it's trying to send a Gmail out. Okay, one second. All right, you should be able to see one of my pages here now. Right, so what you do is, with Mass Website Builder, you create the templates inside, okay? Now, I've done a video with you look inside the training on how to uh, interlink the sites together. And then what you do is, you come in here and you create the, you actually create the website radiuses here. So let's say you wanted to do Spain, um, Alicante. Yeah, within a 30 mile radius. And then you just pop this in because you're going to delete that anyway. Click generate. It probably isn't going to work because I'm not logged in. It is, but I've got to pay. So that's a 318 location website. Then you just click go. Submit that and it'll, it'll um, automatically work for you. And then after you've done that, you then upload your templates, your templates that are created to this same structure that we've just gone through tonight, and it'll just work. Does that make sense? Um, who asked that question, Lulu? Hopefully it does. Right, don't understand what you mean by uploading the clone to 100 URLs. Right, did you see before, um, I'm going to go back over to the site. Right, did you see before where I went down to all in one WP. Um, this is Glenn. Right, what you do is you create a backup first. So you go in and you click on backups. Yeah, I haven't got a backup. So you create a backup, click create a backup, create a backup to this site and download it. Then you install that all in one WP after you've created the site to the structure I've gone through and you import from file like I did earlier and follow the process that I went through and that'll just create a backup straight away. It'll just, that'll do it, it's done. Um, and th then you just literally go in and follow the process where it says, go to the MPP, set the central location, clear the cache, save the page, check the magic page works, and boom, you're off, you're done. And that's it. It really is that simple. Once you've created these sites and you're using the short codes throughout the content as opposed to using the locations throughout the content, you can build hundreds or thousands of these. So while your content, every bit of content that you're using, which should probably be on the PDF, but we just assume everyone knows because that's what we do. Where what should be on the PDF is something that explains to you that wherever you're going to use the word location, so so Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, you want the location short code in there, and you can use location, county, region, and so on and so forth throughout the throughout the content. Ah, okay, that's cool. Yes, um, I, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Someone's just asked, can I post my links on the screen as well as the thing? I'll do that for future webinars. I think I put the Mike J. Martin one. It's in the PDF anyway. Uh, webinars with a Z, webinars.net, W-E-B-I-N-A-R-Z.net. Um, yeah, I can do that in future. I'll add them onto my presentation. I, I don't know when I'm going to share things is a problem. <laughs> and I still don't know how you've got a webinar properly. Um what about branding and logos? Um, if you're doing a national branded uh, setup, Daryl, then obviously keep the same same branding, same logos. If you're doing individual sites for different areas, I tend not to use brands and logos on them. If you notice that site I just shared before, I think it was this one. It's the one I'm thinking. It is actually for one of my um, limited companies, but it's not got a brand or a logo on it. Um, don't go after it but that's that's personal preference mate i can't imagine it's going to make a huge difference to the seo unless you're using i don't, didn't want to go into this tonight but unless you're using your gmbs and you pull your logo from your gmb and have it showing on your site and also pull the image into your um, schema from your gmb and things like that which all helps towards qualifying that you've got an entity and helps with your ranking but that's a bit more high level seo than than we need to go into on this this webinar because this is just for people to get their set up right and get it all going um do i i don't use uh, someone's just put do you use any Lloyd farrell's products in the method i don't but i love i absolutely love his q a tool it's absolutely awesome and i'm a gutty because mine was on a um, whole 60 server that i've had to pull down but i'm i'll just have to chase lloyd to get it again but i absolutely love that tool i think it's genius i think it's awesome and and 
it's just it's genius especially for the internal linking and stuff you can do if you watch the video on how i do that the q a tool barry i think it's awesome right clone to 100 i've just gone through that one a second ago richard um but basically what i was saying is you said you'll do 10 10 websites if you create one website to the method we've gone through tonight richard then what will happen is you you can put that straight up to 10 different websites and all 10 websites will be completely unique Follow the method we've gone through tonight and every single website will be completely unique. I'm about a week or so away from finishing the training course. So once that's finished, these are all going to get that as well, which is going to be use the PDF and show me, tell me type of, of, of approach. So you, you've got the PDF already. You've got this this video, but the, the, the thingy one will go through the whole, the whole process from start to finish. I'll show you in video format and I'm going to try and keep them as short as possible. I'm going to cut them down as much as possible to get rid of all the buffer and all the shit and all the need going and just try and keep them as short as possible so you can use it as a step-by-step as a -step guide. Uh, are the services pages services within one niche or services in different niches? Services pages are in one niche, people. I never build multi-niche multi, multi -niche sites. There's, if you want to go out and do plumbing and roofing, electricity and general, if you want to rank that, that's going to take some serious, serious work. Where if you go out and build separate individual sites for plumbers, roofers, electricians, joiners, stuff like that, it's going to be a lot easier to rank. Um, if you're spending that sort of time ranking sites, then yeah, I think you're losing a lot of time. You can build these once and use them 50 times very, very easily. Um, it's all about best time, best use of your time. I personally don't do multi-industry sites. Um, I know people that do. I know people who are much better SEO than me that are doing it on a massive, massive, massive scale. But they're putting the time and effort in because they're building a huge business, which is... I can't really say because he's shown it me all, but I think it was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, people do do that, but it's not something I do because I just want to generate as much cash as I can out of these sites as fast as possible via selling leads or via converting jobs. Uh, need to go in a minute while we sent the PDF. That's Simon. I hope you got the PDF, Simon. You've probably gone by now anyway. Um, right, somebody's put mass website builder where we're going to start out the schema on that in the future. You've got local business schema at the minute. Um, those who know MPP and MWB, um, MPP is two and a half years old or something now. And, and obviously we've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of updates. The schema builder probably won't be transferred over because it wasn't my design. Uh, but the schema builder will be released as a standalone tool shortly. It's always going to be inside of MPP. We are going to improve the schema that's inside of MWB, though, so that you can do all sorts of different schemas in there. But the actual drag and drop that imports the schema and everything else, um, that's probably not going to be getting pulled across. Um, but the standalone tool, and you can also use the schema builder over at, um, at the minute anyway, you can use it over at schemabuilder.mikejmartin.com, which is on your PDF I've just given you. You mentioned your YouTube for more info. Can you list the YouTube or referring to cleaning images, videos, right? Basically, to find my videos, you need to go to youtube.com, obviously, forward slash Mike Martin YouTube. Yep. I thought it was the easiest one for people to remember. So it's just forward slash Mike Martin YouTube. That'll take you to my thing. Look for the playlist. There's MWB videos. There's Dynamic Batlinker videos. There's the MPP videos, Lead Simplify videos, all different sorts of playlists in there. Um, pop into the playlist for it'll be, what is it you want to look at? I'm referring to cleaning images. That's pro. I don't know exactly which one. That's probably just going to be lead generation training or something like that. There's a lead gen training one in there. That'll be in there, um, and that'll teach you how to, to clean the images and all that properly. I use a Mac, but there are other tools you can use for a, a PC that work exactly the same. Jerry's just said, can you show an example now? What of Jerry, sorry?
Uh, it looks like there is a space after the 301 someone's put. Yep, you put your you forward slash URL structure, forward slash location name, space, forward slash. And all, all that that 301 does is redirects from the page that you put in the forward slash location, forward slash, so forward, forward slash URL structure, forward slash location to the forward slash, which is the home page on most websites. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm just flicking through the questions here. There's some, right, are you using the location short code? Yes, use that everywhere on the site, Valerie. Uh, what's that 301 read that keep on working on the HTML exports? You don't need to do it on the, the HTML, sorry. I, you, uh, you lost me a bit there. It already does it. It takes it out and puts it in the home page, I believe. The index is the central location on the HTML websites. If that's not the case, let me know and we can get it edited, but I'm pretty sure... 99% sure that we, we set it up so that the central location is the is the home page, is the index.html page. Ah, yeah, good point there, uh, Rob. Nice one. Um, it's Robert Johnson's just said, and remember to them to show hidden files on the server, okay? On the server, show hidden files, basically, sometimes. It's, it's mainly FTP that you might not see it, but sometimes if you don't see a .ht access when you go inside the public underscore HTML file, you might have hidden files, have files hidden. If you show hidden files, the .html will show, uh, so .ht access. If you're going into your file manager, I'm pretty sure you always see it. I could be wrong, but if FTP sometimes, especially with Dreamweaver, it, it hides those files as standard, so you have to go in and do it. Right, does it work with WP Bakery at all? That's a good question. We're, I think it's Wooter. Um, I know we spoke a few times, mate. Um, WP Bakery, I, I don't know. I, I've never, I've honest to God, never used that. Basically, when we built the theme club, to Tony and, 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 and his gang that had come over to use MPP, I, I, I had a lot of sites built with it for MPP, so that's why we included it in the theme club, but I've never used it. I, I don't like it. <laughs> to be totally honest, I, I can't say I don't like it. It might be an awesome tool. I've just never give it a chance. Divi and Elementor are so easy to use. I just never give it a chance. Someone's put. I thought that noise was you. Ah, right. <laughs> I think he's on about the motorbikes before. We had basketball going on before, right up till just before the webinar started. I was thinking, God, it's going to ruin everything. This. Sorry, got some cheers, Mike. Cool. Um, Someone's put, I already created content in the index. Yes, you can. You can go back and, and, and spin it. Um, and, and you can, with, with MPP, you can spin content anywhere on the website as long as you go into the settings here. Magic page settings. And where it says, see where spin text auto rewrite is enabled. Watch, if I disable it, click save. Right there, that was auto rewrite. Ignore me, I'm talking crap. Right, we go up here and click disabled. Yeah, so disable spin text. So now when we go and have a look at the site, watch this. It's not too bad because they've not been spun at the top of this one. This is mainly demo sites anyway, but you see all the spin text still in there? So all the content throughout now has got within, in, technicians, blah, blah, blah. See all the crap content? So what you have to do is enable spin text inside of there and it'll work throughout the whole website. Okay, so where it says disabled, disable for regular posts and types, or enabled, that enables the full site from start to finish. <laughs> Some people are swearing quite a bit on air tonight, <laughs> using the power of what it does. Right, guys, um, I'm going to have to end the webinar. I've not got down to the last bottom questions because I've, I've gone from the bottom up at the end of the webinar. Um, I'm going to just grab these last few that were on there before, right, Ed has put, Ed, Ed uh, the place to find the webinar, www.webinar.net, uh, no, no Ed, it's webinars with a Z at the end, so when it, when it says webinar.net, it's actually webinar and then Z instead of S, webinars.net. Um, page four on the PDF, can you show an example of the spun? 10 times question mark jerry that's exactly the same as what i just did with the five times spun it's the exact same thing you're just spinning it five five deep 10 deep 15 deep 
um, however many sentences you want. But if you, if you if you go to the MPP and use spin text short code, you're going to be able to create that 20 and 30 deep um, over a period of time, and you can use that to spin full paragraphs. So it's like block spinning. Um, Glenn's asked, okay, new domains. Yeah, I've spoken about this a couple of times, Glenn. Um, I, you're going to get a tiny boost at the beginning with expired domains, but to be totally honest with you, anyone, anyone, you're going to run up eventually with websites towards more complicated, more difficult um, terms to rank. Getting that tiny boost at the beginning um, is, is, it might give you a, a boost in the first four to six weeks, but realistically, once you have to start the off-page side of things, you're going to run up to problems if 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 you can't rank at all. So it's definitely worth using new domains is not an issue it just takes a little bit longer that's all so clone to 100 unique domains right that's richard mate you don't have to i put it i put 10 on there it's just something that i've got on on my um on my system me and me and paul are doing a project at the minute where we've got somebody uh, um, adrian who was on earlier he's doing our content and all the rest of it for us and helping us with the project that's going to be going out to 298 domain names across the US. Um, and that's spun to a similar level to this. Now, we may have to use the spin text short codes and make the actual MPP pages a little bit more spun, a bit further down the line. But that's going to go out to 300 different websites. That's going to make us probably, when it's when it's finished six months from now and the whole project's running and up and doing it, we're probably going to be doing 50, 60, maybe 70K a month from that project. Uh, Lloyd, will there be a, a replay available? I know I've carried on and I'm supposed to run. Um, yes, there'll be a replay available, mate. Um, you just go back to the same registration link once it's uploaded. I don't know how long it takes on GoToWebinar, but I have found out that if you go to that, it will let you watch the replay, which I didn't know, which is cool. Uh, but I'm going to download both the last two weeks. Once I've just had a crazy two weeks. Even some of my customer services dropped off a bit this week, which I'm going to get on tomorrow. Um, Right, I'm on FMWB, translate what you've done. I've just gone through on that, how to do it with MWB. Go and build a template, put all your short codes in, and then you just change the, the central locations. If you look on Mass Website Builder for the internal linking structure training on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Mike Martin YouTube, that will show you how to do the internal linking structure on an MWB site so that you can create these evergreen style site models very easily. Um, can you give us already done template with all the short codes already in on it? <laughs> Go on, Frankie. Well done, mate. Not going to happen. <laughs> I've not got one. Um, but yeah, no. <laughs> uh, uh, mate, that's the easy bit. It's the content that's the hard bit. But uh, templates, I suppose. I, I, Dean, it took me 10 minutes to do on, on Elementor. Um, Right, I'm getting some good comments here, guys. A lot of people really like this. Was it full automation coming? When's full automation coming? Um, I'm on with. I'm, I'm supposed to be on with Martin six minutes ago. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit more about that shortly. We're going to actually be closing down. Um, lead to, not closing it down, but we're going to shut down all sales and everything like very, very soon. We're going to start implementing full automation, getting everything up and ready to go before we release it to the to the world because we've never actually done a proper launch on Lead Simplify. And it's already much, much bigger than than both Magic Pace plugin and Mass Website Builder and everything else we've got put together. Um, and we've never even launched it to the to the world yet. So if we've got any big affiliates on, guys, give me a shout on Facebook and we'll have a conversation um, before that does happen. Right, Valerie, funny, this is exactly the approach I was going to use. Not quite as much rewrites, but close. See, great minds think I like that, Val. Um, when is full automation coming? <laughs> Another one. Right, I've just gone through the uh, world of training, cover the MWB setup too. Uh, yes, the training course, I'm going to do two different versions of it. One's going to be for Magic Page, the other one's going to be for MWB. The MWB one's going to come after the Magic Page one, simply because I know the process inside out from um, MPP, so I can do it very, very easy, very, very quickly. The other one's a little bit more complicated for me to do, so it's going to, um, but it will come. Um, and all the other bits of training that's in for, for mass website builder are actually inside your control panel. Five minute step by step videos. That's what I'm aiming for, Robert. That is exactly what I'm aiming for with Detroit. Well, it probably won't be that. It'll probably be about 20 minute videos, but I'm going to get the just the points you need and not me waffling. 
can you post a link to where your recordings are locked are located please um that's the webinars.net i don't i don't know how to post a link on it just see if you can see this oh if you can spell it wrong one second i don't even know if that's come through let me see if it works on chat one second That's where you'll get a lot of the previous stuff, a lot of the old webinars and stuff, type evergreen, the evergreen site models on there. How do you do a national site in the UK? Right, uh, Steve Brockle, uh, Brocklehurst, sorry mate. National site in the UK and I have a general central location. I use, I'm using your, right, basically what I'd do with that is I would add in the UK every single major city to start with, okay? You can always take the, the, them out later and then do it via population, but I do every single major city, which is gonna be about 100 odd page website and I'd have London as my central location and I would build and I would redirect the London page to the home page and have a, a London home page, a London London page, then you have your, your services pages and then you have every major city in the country covered and then as that grows over time it gets more and more. Right, someone's put when deciding H2s, H3s, um, what is your criteria? I, I don't really have them at one to be totally honest, I literally go after most search keywords slash whatever the services are we're going after and I stick that stuff in there. I tend to use my main keywords in my H1 and my title definitely 100%. Sometimes I put the main keywords in the H2 and then the H3s I tend to have five or six on a page minimum um, and what I do is I use serv use the services for that so, so I tend to go after the services with that. Um, okay, Nick's put that you can use simple 301 redirects WP plugin rather than HD access. I don't know, never tried it, mate. It does that work with a single MPP page? If it does, cool. Just posted that link, guys. I'm getting the same questions. Can you give us already done templates with the <laughs> Frankie's terrorizing me for that? I ain't got any mate that I can give out. I build them for my business for them. Um, I mean, I did some templates a while back, but not not the evergreen site model ones. Uh, so you're saying your new domain instead of expired domains. I'm not saying instead of. Uh, sorry, someone's put. So you're saying use new domains instead of expired. Nope. I'm just saying, Gene. It doesn't make a huge difference if if you're not trying to get them ranking in the next few days, weeks, things like that. Expired's not the be all and end all. You can build. You're on, you're, you're on and off page SEO is right. You're going to rank in eventually anyway. Uh, if you look, most of the websites that are top in most areas are 12, 18 months old um, in major cities. So it's not age, it's not expired. It's not, it, it's just, it's, it, it, you, you need decent off page SEO to, to really rank for the major cities. But the on page will work in all the small areas. Next webinar, I don't know if it's next week or the week after, Ben. Can I share my YouTube URL? Did everyone get that when I put it in the chat? You should be able to. YouTube.com forward slash Mike Martin. Oops. YouTube. Okay, guys. Right, I'm going to have to. Um, I'm going to have to run. Clone to 100 URLs. P people are still asking that. Upload clone. What upload clone? Right. Basically, what you what you do is you go and watch the Evergreen Site Model. It shows you how to create a clone of your existing website using and you you, you build the website based on on the, the what I've just explained. So you're going to build your template. Then you're going to build your right. So so, so very very quickly run through the model just one last time because a couple of people don't understand it. First thing you're going to do is build a template on Elementor. Yep, go off, build a template, make a smart template. It's a one-page template because you're going to use that as your template throughout your site. No content whatsoever on it. Make it smart, make it look like the industry you want. 
Yeah, that's that bit done. Next step is you're going to go off and get all your content written from start to finish, but your content is never going to include any location-specific data anywhere. Your content, where you're going to have your location-specific data, you're going to have the location short code. Yep, everywhere throughout the whole batch of all the content. Follow the PDF for the, for the content rules and everything. Okay, once that's been done, you import it into the into the document, into into the templates. So you build the template out with your linking structure and all your other stuff, right? You use your city short code on the pages. Then go through and copy the on-page SEO structure, which is, is not super complicated. It's quite a basic on-page structure, but it does it, it is the most relevant sections. Uh, and it, it's very basic, very simple, but they're, they're the sections that work. And what you'll find is most of these top SEO guys will say, oh, but what about this? What about that? Actually check their sites, and most of them will have it different than this because the basics really do work. Um, do, the, do the 301 redirect and set up an HTTPS. And, and, and you're pretty much done. And then you just literally use all-in-one WP migration to pull down the site, so to do a backup. Once you've done a backup of the site, you import that backup onto your next site, go off, change the central location, like we did when I showed you the result before, and then upload it and you're done. It really is that simple. You just literally change that central location, save it, uh, clear spin text cache, uh, and you've got a brand spanking new site every single time. It respins it all. So you just literally keep uploading, 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 uploading to all your different URLs, clear spin text cache, change central location, done. Every, the site is a brand new site every single time. You can use it 100, 150 times, and it'll 99.9% .9 of the time, it'll always be a very, very unique site. Um, every now and again, you'll get one that pulls in and looks a bit thingy. But if you use the spin text short codes, like I said, you can always go and add additional content into those pages. So if you only go five deep to start with, Use your spin text short code so you can add additional content into those sections as you're working. Right, guys, I really am going to have to jump off. Um, anyone's got any issues or any, any parts they don't quite understand, stick a post in the group. Me or Keith will, will, will respond to you. Uh, really appreciate you all coming on tonight. I don't know how many still up. Well, we've still got 55 people left on, so they're all the ones that are asleep. Um, Thank you very much for coming on, guys. If, if I leave Martin waiting any longer, he's not going to get on the call with me and full automation will take even longer. So thank you very much, guys. I hope this helps. As soon as the training course is ready, we've added all you guys to a specific list and everybody will receive the five, five video training course from start to finish and the two bonus videos that's going to come with it as well, which is all about automation. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Um, I'll see you all on the next webinar and I'll speak to you all in the group soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.